But uh, so from this uh, architectural perspective, taking advantage of cloud systems, which is where the AI systems live in data centers, uh, we are, we would argue, able to sort of build in rules, rights, and compliance, including with guidelines for what and how AI systems operate that in this case initially would be ones that the city would permit in the city or might purchase or access and use. So this is a new effort and we're reaching out to others. It includes also a data classification scheme of, so I'll say this once, so you know, I won't, because I want you to say it again, because you'll remember it, <laughs> I promise. Green, yellow, red. Okay, green data is civic data, open data, shareable. Green light. Yellow data, hmm, some controls, some permissions. Maybe it's shareable, maybe it's controllable with with some red data, person identifiable information must be secured, must be backed up, must prevent ransomware or other attacks on cities. So with this combination of new data classification schemes, new architectures, and a, which can include protection of human and civil rights and compliance with law and governance, I think we can make a lot of progress uh, without necessarily um, on a voluntary basis as communities uh, struggle to address all of the challenges that come with AI. Mm -hmm. 